actually going to get started in seated today. So just go ahead and find a comfortable seat. Um, you can sit kind of cross-legged like we are, or maybe send your legs out, or even kneel if that's something you like. But just find a comfortable seat somewhere you can sit up tall. If you ever want to use a prop like a blanket or a cushion or anything under your hips, you can do that as well. That can be kind of nice. So just finding a place where you can sit up tall and breathe here. Try and relax your hands. Don't worry about what they're doing right now. If you want to bring them to your knees or in your lap, that's an option. Try and roll your shoulders back and then maybe close your eyes. If you don't like closing your eyes, just gaze softly. I promise we won't be doing much here. We'll just be sitting here. But feel free to pick one spot and just gaze softly at that. Otherwise, just close your eyes and let the, the breath guide you here. Let's just begin by noticing our breath, noticing what's going on. How deep is it? How fast is it? Not trying to change it yet. That tends to be our first instinct. Like I gotta, I gotta breathe like a yoga person now. But just noticing your breath, how it's feeling this morning. And then maybe we'll run through the senses real quick. So noticing what you hear, what's going on. The heater just kicked on here. <laughs> Anything going on outside? Noticing what you um, what you smell, if you can smell anything, smelling your, your beverage, brewed coffee. Noticing what you're tasting right now, even if it's just in your mouth. Noticing what you see, even if your eyes are closed, just noticing what's going on inside your eyelids. Noticing what you feel. <coughs> Ruin, ruining my very nice, relaxed moment. I know. <laughs> anyway, just noticing what you feel, what you're touching. Um, if you're sitting on the mat or a carpet. Feel your clothes on your skin. And then lastly, just taking a peek inside, see what you're feeling inside. So any emotions, any thoughts. So just taking a moment to bring that awareness into the practice. And then we'll continue this throughout the class. So without the coffee. Yeah, without the coffee. So just noticing how your body reacts to the different things I ask you to do and the different poses. Go ahead and take one, or let's go ahead and deepen our breath. I forgot we didn't do that. So taking deep inhales, breathing in, filling up, and then exhale, lengthen it out. Really lengthen the exhale. And then continue this for just a little bit, warming up the chest. As we begin to expand the chest on the inhale and squeeze it on the exhale. Warming up your chest muscles, starting to breathe into them. Especially if you're just waking up. We're starting to get our body ready for the, these big breaths, big some of the bigger movements. From here, take one more big breath. Inhale, fill all the way up. Deepest breath you've taken today. And exhale, release your air. Longest exhale you've done all day. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze up the bottom. Squeeze all your air out. And then continue on, breathing in. And out with those big belly, big yogi breaths through the rest of the class. And then from here, um, go ahead and uh, rock back. Take your hands behind you. And then send your feet out long. So if you have them crossed, go ahead and send them out. Um, 
If you're there long, go ahead and pull them in so your feet are flat on the floor, your knees are bent. And then, like I said, hands behind you, either fingertips towards your glutes, or you can send your fingertips out to the side. So right fingertips out to the right. And then from here, lift your right legs, straighten your knee so that your right foot's sticking out. Starting to integrate the core here a little bit. So pulling in through your uh, low belly here. Notice the struggle here if you have any. Taking a moment, pressing your right leg forward. Integrating it as you breathe in and out. And then inhale, slowly lift your right foot up. And then figure four, go ahead and take your right ankle to your left knee. Yeah, try and use your core as much as you can. We lean back a little bit, but feel free to lean back or use your hand for help. <laughs> and then this might feel good just opening up the hips a little bit. If you want to scoot your butt forward for a little bit more of a stretch, you can do that as well. But we're going to take it nice and easy here. Feel free to circle the ankle. You can have a sip here if you want. Nice, easy sip and pose. <laughs> just when, when, the, bar. when the bar is... Open back up, we can just, you know, like do this at the bars, right? Mm. Ah. Again, feeling this in your hip. Just a, not like our full, like, you know, hip openers like we do towards the end of the class, but uh, just starting to open up the hips a little bit. Think about um, your chest as well. So notice if you're doing, like, your rounding, try and open up your chest, pull your shoulder blades together. And then we'll go ahead and do the other side, but we're going to um, kind of come out of this really slowly, just like we came in. So stay here for one more breath. And then send your right leg out long and slowly lower it to the ground, integrating your lower core. And then go ahead, tuck it in and then send your left foot out. So sending your left leg long. Think about your chest here as well. Notice if you're rounding in and see if you can puff up again. Pulling in your belly button, maybe low core. Just starting to warm up the core as we integrate it for our other poses. Breathing in and out. And then inhale, lift your left leg up as high as you can go. And then go ahead and take this on this side. No worries if one side was a little harder than the other. Totally, totally normal. And then go ahead and find your um, seated figure four on this side. Feel free to scoot your butt up or back. And then, excuse me, circle the left ankle. So warming up the ankles and the feet a little bit. Notice too if your um, shoulders are coming up towards your ears, if you're sitting down in your shoulders and try and Relax your shoulders, pull them down away from your ears. Just enjoying this easy sip and pose again. Take a sip if you want. You didn't learn last time to no. grab your beer. Nobody said I learned. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take one more breath on this side. And then again, slowly release. Send your left foot out and long, and slowly lower it to the ground. And then from here, we're actually going to come forward, finding a child's pose. So go ahead, send your legs to either side. Get your sip that you're owed. <laughs> Walk yourself back on the mat. Take your knees wide. That feels good. And then go ahead, stick your chest down. Finding child's pose here. And remember that at any point during this class, you can always come back to this child's pose. So catch your breath, take a sip, whatever you want to feel good. Just taking a few breaths here, starting to bring the focus inward a little bit more. I kind of like child's pose. It's kind of like your own little cave inside your arms where you can be focused, you can be relaxed. 
As always with any of these poses, don't work for you, you can always find an alternate pose, even child's pose, drop to your knees, or you know, anything that works for your body. Listen to your body, find a pose that works for you so that you can be nice and relaxed instead of struggling. You can challenge yourself, challenge is always good, but struggling, not great. And then from here, pick your fingertips up and walk them over to the right side of your mat. So I like my left hand reaches out towards the right corner of my mat. Or left hand can stack on top of your right hand for a little extra challenge here. Try and sink your armpits low for a nice stretch in the side body. Breathing into your left ribs here. Take a big breath in. Exhale, sink your armpits down into the mat. And then inhale, walk your fingertips up and back through center. And then over to the left. So walking your fingertips over. And again, right hand can reach out towards the left corner of the mat. Maybe it stacks on top of the left hand now. And try and sink, especially your right armpit, into the mat. Breathing here. Take a big breath in and let it go. Even bigger breath in, really fill up. Sink into the mat, melt into your mat on the exhale. And then inhale, walk your fingertips back through center. And then lift up into tabletop when you're ready. So coming onto your hands and knees, all fours. Walk your knees in underneath your hips. Spread your fingertips wide. Get a nice wide base. And then on your inhale, drop your belly. Look forward, cow pose. Exhale, round your spine, cat pose. Inhale back into cow. And exhale into cat. One more time on your own here. And then come back to center. So flatten your spine, tuck your toes, and find downward facing dog. So our first downward dog here, send your hips up to the sky. Maybe you pedal your heels out here, pressing one heel to the mat, bending the opposite knee. Just warming up the back of the legs here. And feel free to take any other moves here you need to warm up. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Release your neck. And then on your next inhale, walk your feet up to your hands, finding a forward fold. And then take your feet wide for um, ragdoll here. Take your feet wide. Let your upper body hang loose. Bend your knees here. Maybe grab opposite elbows and sway back and forth or any combination thereof. Ragdoll here, letting your upper body hang loose. Let your head and neck go long. Breathing here, you got this. Take one more breath in, exhale it out, and then bend your knees, tuck your chin, and slowly roll up to standing. So slowly coming up, one vertebrae at a time clicks in. Roll your shoulders back, and then you can walk your feet in. I forgot to do that earlier. I'm actually going to walk those back so you guys can see this. And then on your next inhale, lift up your arms, reach up high mountain pose, and we're going to do that bend side to side again. Okay, I'm going to, you're going to stay standing. I'm just going to demonstrate the hands here. Um, but you're going to take your right hand, everyone wave their right hand. This is like what I have to do with like the kids. <laughs> Grab your left wrist, and then bend over to the right. 
So you can see John's got like the standing part, I got the arm part. So really to use your right hand to pull your left arm up and out instead of trying to get all crunchy in the right side. Just breathing into your left ribs again. Again, big breath in, exhale, stay. Inhale back through center. Go ahead and switch your grip, left wrist, or left hand grabs your right wrist, and then bend over to the left. So sending your uh, hands over to the left. Try and think long, think up and over. Think like pulling long, not just pulling over. Breathing into your right ribs. Big breath in here, fill up the right ribs. Stay for the exhale, root down through your right foot. One more big breath in, exhale it out. And then inhale, tall, reach up, and exhale, hands to heart center. Nice job. Take a breath here. So actually, we were back up. Come to the front of your mat if you're at the back like we were. Mm -hmm. Again, hands at your heart. On your next inhale, reach up, fill up. Exhale, forward fold to so bend all the way down. And then inhale, let's find a halfway lift here. So flattening your spine, really reaching out through the crown of your head. Again, thinking long, send your crown of your head forward. And then hands here can stay on your shins or your thighs, or if you want, take airplane arms here. Just as a little reminder to kind of activate through the back body, pulling up through your front body, and then lifting with the back body. So it's almost like we're trying to squeeze together here. Take a breath in, and then on your exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees, rise up, reach up, high mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find that halfway lift again. One inhale, and then exhale, plank pose. Plant your hands, step one foot back, then the other. Always an option to take this on your knees. Take a big breath in here, and then tuck your elbows, pulling them close to the body, and slowly lower down to the mat, lowering all the way down. And then from here, we're going to warm up our back bends. So pull your shoulder blades and elbows together, look forward, and then come back down. Feel free to rest a cheek or forehead, or the only forehead on the mat. And then we'll take another one. So we'll take Cobra this time. Pull your shoulder blades and elbows together. Maybe lift your chest up now for Cobra. And then come back down. One more time. Take a Cobra or press into your hands. Straighten your elbows. Lift your thighs up for Upward Facing Dog. And then maybe here we take a peek over our right shoulder, over our left shoulder. Come back to center. And then everyone finds downward facing dog. So we'll always be back in down dog. We're gonna do two more rounds of that sun A. Take a breath in and let it go. Inhale, fill up, get empty. And with no air in you, walk step or hop to the front of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up to standing to reach up, high mountain pose. Exhale, fold back in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose, stepping back to your plank pose. Take a breath in here. And then lower down to the mat, knees, thighs, belly, chest, or as one unit. On your inhale, we're not going to do all three, but go ahead and pick a back bend, cobra or up dog. Exhale, find downward facing dog. One more round, just like that. Take a breath in. 
and let it go. Inhale, fill up. Empty out, squeeze your belly. And on empty, walk or step or jump rope to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up to standing, reach up tall. And fold right back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose, everyone's favorite. <laughs> Take a big breath in. Lower down to the mat or stop halfway, chaturanga. And then choose your back bend, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job here. So we're gonna move on to sun B, adding in a few more moves and then what I sometimes call sun B plus, adding in even more moves. <laughs> Take a breath in and let it go. Inhale, fill up, get empty, and then walk, step, or jump to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up to standing, reach up tall. And this time, maybe bring your feet together as we sink into chair pose, sending your hips back, maybe arms go forward, stay up, maybe cactus arms. So just like that, um, halfway lift, that's the pose. <laughs> Try and pull your front body and back body together. So I say pull it together, not in a um, way to like, I don't know, get smaller, <laughs> but in a way to activate your body. So belly button's lifting in, pulling in, back body's activated. Take a breath in. Exhale, sink a little lower. You got this big breath in and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose. Take a breath in and then lower down to the mat or stop halfway, chaturanga. And then cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So from now on, I'm gonna call that a vinyasa. So feel free to lower all the way down to the mat, cobra, chaturanga, uh, <laughs> any combination thereof. We're always gonna meet back in down dog. Now from here, we're gonna bring our right foot towards the top of the mat. If you want, take an inhale, lift your right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your right foot forward towards the front of the mat. Take some wiggles, wiggle it up there. And then uh, spin your left foot down for a warrior one. So left foot's coming down somewhere between like a 45 and 90 degree angle. And then on your next inhale, use your lift. Lift your upper body up, lift your arms up, or maybe cactus them, or maybe hands to your hips. Breathing here. Feel free to adjust once you're up here. Pressing back through your left leg. If it feels uncomfortable, press your leg down. Feel free to mix it up. Maybe you take your right foot out to the right. Maybe you adjust your hips here a little bit, in or out. Maybe you pull your shirt down like John. Take a big breath in here, fill up. Exhale it out. One more inhale, really fill up. And exhale, bring your hands back down to the mat. Slide your right foot back, step it back to plank here. And then vinyasa through, or go right to down dog. John and I are gonna demonstrate the vinyasa. So feel free to go ahead and go right to down dog. Yogi's choice here. And then we're gonna bring the left foot forward for warrior one on the other side. So option for an inhale, lift your left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your right leg, or sorry, left leg forward. Warrior one on the left side. Left side, left, left, left. Right foot spins down. And down. And then on your inhale, use that inhale, use that lift. Lifting up into warrior one on this side. Pressing through your back right foot. 
Fixing your wardrobe again like John. Breathing here. Feeling really strong and steady through the feet. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I'm done. Take a big breath in and let it go. Big inhale again, fill up. And then exhale, bring your hands down to the mat. Same thing, step back to plank, both feet back of the mat and vinyasa through or go right to down dog. Breathe here. Remember in your nice wide hands. Still keeping, you know, a good comfortable down dog, feeling strong. Take a breath in and let it go. Inhale, lift up on your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, and then same thing. Walk, step, or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. This is gonna be that 7B plus, adding in a few more moves. Inhale, rise up to standing, reach up tall. This time, take your feet um, a little bit wider or just as wide as your hips. And we're gonna sink back into chair pose. So with our feet wide this time, sink your hips back. And then take your right arm, lay it across your knees here, across your thighs. So maybe um, your hand comes to your left leg, you can grab onto your knee a little bit. And then we're gonna take our left hand, bring it down towards the mat, and then sweep it up for an arm bar twist, chair pose. So you'll notice if your knees are twisting because your arm is right there. And you can use this for leverage too. Really use it to lift you up and twist. Big breath in, exhale it out. One more inhale, and then exhale forward fold. Bring both arms down. Maybe ragdoll it out a little bit. Take one more breath here, in and out. And then on your next inhale, rise back up to standing. Maybe keep your feet where they were, reach up. And exhale this wide-legged chair again. This time, left arm's gonna go across your knees, so finding this arm bar. Start by taking your right hand down towards the mat, and then swing it up and open, like, I don't know, a can opener, a wind. What, what are those? A wind. No, what are those things called that you like you see on the windmill? That's what it is. I couldn't think of it. Uh, it's okay. Wind turbine, maybe? Yes. Are we fancy and high tech here or is this Holland? No one knows. Again, pressing into your left hand to reach your right arm up. Notice your knees. Big breath in. Exhale it out. One more inhale, reach, 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 and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, find plank pose. And then from here, option of vinyasa through, or go right to down dog. We'll all be back in down dog. Breathe here in. And out, inhale your right leg high, three-legged dog, and then bring your right foot forward. Warrior one again, so setting up this warrior one, spin your left foot down. Use your inhale, lift up into warrior one. Stay for the exhale. Take one more inhale, and then open up to warrior two. So left foot's gonna go probably a little bit more parallel to the back of the mat. Perpendicular to your front foot. Spin your hips to the side and then reach your arms out forward and back. Warrior two here. Breathing here, new pose. This is how we're extending on a little bit. Take a breath in and let it go. Inhale, shrug your shoulders up. 
Relax them down. Take one more inhale. One more exhale. And then reverse your warrior up and back. Reach up and back behind you. And then cartwheel all the way down. Bring your right hand and your left hand to frame your foot. Just step back with the right foot. Both feet eat at the back of the mat. And vinyasa through or go right to down dog. Take a breath here in and out. One more breath in. Let it go as I get all these Facebook things. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. And then we're going to bring our left foot forward. So option to lift your left leg high. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your left foot forward towards the front of the mat, setting up for a warrior one again. And then go ahead and lift up for a warrior one. Oh my god, it's a group conversation. It's not going to stop, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Breathe in. And exhale. Group chats don't bother me. Home. <laughs> Take a breath in. And then exhale. Transition into warrior two. Feel free to wiggle your feet around again with that. If you need that, that feels good. Spin your... Toes out to the side again, your back toes perpendicular to the back of the mat. And maybe take some um, awareness to notice of where your shoulders are, notice if they're forward or back. Find sometimes, especially I'm like focused on the camera and I reach forward. But see, they should be like kind of right over your hips. That front body, back body activation is here as well. Squeezing in. Take a breath in, let it go, shrug your shoulders, relax them down, take one more breath in, exhale it out, and then reverse your warrior up and back, exhale, cartwheel all the way down to the, your mat, find your plank pose again, and then same thing, vinyasa here, or go right to down dog, last chance for a vinyasa. Last call, baby. But we haven't heard that in a while. <laughs> nice job. Take a breath here in and out. And then we're going to walk towards the top of our mat, but we're going to do it a little funky this time. We're going to take our right foot, cross it over our left, and then left foot over right. So just doing this like crisscross walk all the way to the front of the mat until you get into a forward fold. That's not crisscrossed. And then on your next inhale, slowly come up again. So finding mountain pose again, maybe high mountain pose, maybe that feels good. And then exhale, hands to your sides. So we're going to take pyramid pose here. So um, take your hands to your hips. Go ahead, put your hands on your hips. And then your right foot's going to stay where it is. You're going to step your left foot about halfway back down the mat. So not as far as those um, warriors we were doing. Um, and then your left toes are out, again, about 45 degrees, maybe a little bit more. And then right toes are forward. And then with your hands on your hips, Keep them square. So as we bend forward, they're going to want to open up like warrior two. But instead, we want to keep them both pointing forward, so pointing towards the front of the mat. And then from here, start to bend at the hips. And bring your chest down, sinking your chest down. Keep your feet where they are. Keep them plugged in. Start to feel a stretch in the outer right hip here. Pull your right hip back. It's going to want to creep forward, but pull it back. And find your edge here. So when you really feel that stretch when you can't go anymore, go ahead and stay there. And you can keep your hands on your hips or grab your shin, reach for the floor, reach for your beverage. John's got a block here because he's a fancy yoga boy. We'll call it that. Just kidding. They were $5 at five below. Breathing here in this pyramid pose. Take notice, so when you found your edge, you found that sensation, 
With your hands off your hips, notice if you try and open up again and lose that sensation, pulling your right hip back. And then you can stay in this pyramid pose, or we're going to transition into our standing balance, which is going to be standing L pose. So standing L pose, we're going to shift our weight forward into our right leg, and then bring your hands down to the mat or a block, maybe you even come onto fingertips, and then lift your left foot up. So again, shifting your weight onto our right foot, left foot's pressing back towards the back of the room behind you. This is also called standing splits sometimes, but I don't like how splits makes you think like I have to be in the splits. <laughs> so pressing your foot back. You good? Died. Okay. Died right. Keep your hips even like they were before. I'm gonna spin to the side so you can see this. But anyway, so this is standing elbows. Pressing my foot back behind me. Notice my hips are opening up, trying to get to the splits. They're nice and even with the ground. You don't do this like twisty thing. <laughs> Take a breath in. Stay for the exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, left foot meets right. Nice job. On your next inhale, slowly roll it up again. High mountain pose, reach up. Nice stretch. Exhale, bring your hands down. Send them to your hips for pyramid on the other side. So. This time, left foot's going to stay forward, right foot's going to step back, again, halfway. Maybe it's kind of the mirror of um, when we did the other side. Um, I forgot to mention, you can always adjust once you get there. But again, taking our hands to our hips, and then starting to bend forward at the hips. So, uh, bending at the hips until you find your edge on this side. Think about lengthening the crown as well, so it's not just a... Um, I don't know, a hunch, <laughs> lengthening the crown, so it's making a big circle down the front until you find your edge here. Really tune in. This outer left hip is going to tell you, pull your left hip back, and then same options here. Keep your hands at your hips, or reach down for your leg, your ankle, any props you got lying around, including your beverage. That's a problem. If I've shown anything through these past... Um, BYOB yoga sessions, I hope that it's, you can use your beverage in yoga. Sitting here in this pyramid pose, especially if you've been doing you know, some extra working out, some extra running during um, quarantine. I know a lot of people have taken up running and they're training for different things. This pose is really nice for runners. Your IT band over here gets really tight, so this is a nice stretch for that. And then if you want, transition this into standing L pose. So shifting your weight into your left foot, starting to come up onto your right foot, hands come forward, and then again, lifting your right foot. I'll show you again on this line. Fancy helicopter spin. Pressing your right foot back, keep it active. Maybe flex your foot or point your toes, that's an option as well, just keeping the foot active. And if you want to challenge here, you're like, I can do this kit just fine. Go ahead and take your one hand to your ankle or even both. Ooh, it's a little difficult. But that's an option for a challenge here. Standing elbows really press into both feet. Keep the legs active. You got this. One more big breath in. And then exhale, right foot meets left. Forward fold. Ooh. And then from here, we're going to come to our backs. So we're not going to come to our backs. We're going to come to a seat. So you can just bend your knees and come to a seat. Move any beverages that could get in the way. Um, go ahead and grab your beverage. So every week, I like to do um, a little bit of exercise, a little bit of something to challenge you um, to either do the exercise or chug your beer. So we done a plank or chug, we've done squat or chug, this week is going to be boat or chug. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to set up boat pose, we're going to do a boat pose for one minute with the option for a twist to make it harder. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get my timer up, okay, and then for boat pose here, so there's a lot of options here for boat pose, so 
And don't worry, any version of boat counts here. You don't have to be in full boat or else we're gonna make you jump. Um, but just like we did before, we're gonna rock back under our sit bones a little bit. Starting off, hands behind you, fingertips towards your butt. Feet are out forward, knees are bent. So this is boat one. Boat two, we're gonna lift our uh, shins up so that they're parallel with the ground. Still hands behind you for some support. And then here, start lifting up, lift your chest. Notice if you're rounding. Lifting up, feeling nice and strong here. And then boat three is to take your arms forward. So that's boat three. So you can see you're kind of like rocking in your ocean here. <laughs> so you can do that. Or if you want to grab your ear here, make it harder. I'm going to hold it. Okay, so go ahead and pick your boat. And <laughs> we're going to start. Boat or chug. So you can hold any of these boat versions for one minute or chug your beer. So starting in three, two, one. Boat or chug. You guys got this. If you're like, this is really easy, kid. Take your beer and go side to side. Do some twists. No, fam. <laughs> John's not going to do it. You got this. Ten seconds done. Ooh, you guys got this. Ooh, feel the burn. Ooh, working on that core. That's why we warmed it up earlier. I thought about this. Definitely. Okay, 20 seconds done. You guys got this. Holding it. You got it. Almost halfway. And we are officially halfway. Uh, you guys got this. Remember, if you start rounding again, lift up through your chest. I promise it helps. It uses your core more than your hip flexors. 20 seconds left. Almost there. You can do it. Feel free to join us back if you stop. Almost there. 10 seconds left. You can hold it. Almost. You guys got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Come to a seat. Nice job. <laughs> well, I got a lot of beer out of that, so that's always good. <laughs> Take a sip if you want with your beer. If you're not sick of it. If you're not dead like John. Oh, baby. Thank you for indulging me. And then roll on to your back. Now's the relaxing part. Woo. That could be kind of stressful on your hip flexors, so we're gonna go ahead and take bridge pose here to stretch out the hip flexors. So go ahead, come onto your back. Pull your knees up again. Pull your heels in this time, close to your glutes. And then on your next inhale, go ahead, lift your hips up into the sky. Press your hands into the mat. This is going to feel really good, especially if boat pose. You feel a lot in your hip flexors. This is going to be a nice way to stretch them out. Option to clasp your hands below you, underneath you, and roll your shoulder blades under a little bit closer. They get nice and snuggly here. That helps you lift your chest towards your chin a little bit more. Two more breaths here. Breathe in and out. One more inhale, press your hips up, and exhale, release your hands, and roll back down. And then it might feel good here, just windshield wipers side to side, back and forth. And then when you're ready, come back to center. We're going to set up for another boat pose. Feel free to take, um, this is going to be our last, uh, not boat pose. Oh God, I just gave everyone some really bad flashbacks. <laughs> another bridge pose, wrong um, structure. So another bridge pose, feel free to take wheel if you'd like, or baby bridge. This is going to be our last bridge. Uh, but go ahead, set up again. Pull your heels in if they went long. Place your hands on the mat. Or back behind you by your ears for wheel pose. And then when you're ready, lift your hips up. Just an inch or two for baby bridge. Or send them all the way up for full bridge. So baby bridge, you can tuck your tailbone so that it's pointing up towards the ceiling a little bit more. A little bit more release in the low back. Or again, full bridge, you can work into that um, bind again underneath. Clasping your hands, always an option. Breathing here. 
using your breath, maybe stretching out through the hip flexors again, that might feel good. Or with this baby bridge, stretching out the low back. We'll take one more breath here, breathe in. And then exhale, lower down. Nice job. And then windshield wiper your legs again if that felt good. Back and forth. And then come back to center. I'm going to spin back do some old penguin moves. And then we're just going to take soup to body kanasana here. So soles of the feet together, knees fall out to either side. Reclined butterfly pose. Place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Letting your hips open up. Breathing here. Opening up through the inner hips. And just relaxing here. Feeling nice and relaxed with your hands on your chest and your belly. And then we're going to do one last hip opener here. So you can stay here in Sutta Vata Konasana if you like, if you just want to end here really nice and relaxed. Or to go a little bit further, we're going to pull our knees together. And then I'm going to rock up to seated. We're going to start in a seated butterfly. We're going to take fire log pose today. So start in a seated butterfly. And then again, stay here. Maybe this is your next level. Or we're going to stack our um, shins on top of one another. So we're going to start with the left shin on the bottom. So making it nice and parallel to the top of the mat. And then my um, left or my right shin is going to stack on top. So um, bringing your heel to your knee. And then um, there's a few options here. It can be a little bit more, um, your feet could, or your knees can be a little bit wider. That might feel good. Or take your heel outside your knee. This all just depends on how um, open your hips are, if you prefer your hips to be wide for stretches or closer together. Then just settle in here. Always an option to stuff some things underneath here. You got blocks. <laughs> I don't know, I guess you could use your beer somehow. But fire log pose here. You'll even see neither John or I are perfectly parallel, parallel with our shins. And that's totally fine here. Try and sit up tall. And then if you want to go even deeper, you can start to bend forward at the hips. That's another option as well. I'm actually going to stay up tall. Flex your feet for a little bit of extra activity here as well. This is fire log pose. If you really hate this, it's also called double pigeon. So I don't like to call it that because everyone thinks just double Twice the pigeon. <laughs> twice the pain, twice the pigeon. Um, I like fire log pose. But it's, I don't know, it's not. Do you think this is twice as bad as pigeon? No, um, not a good yogi's perspective for me, but I will say it does feel like I'm opening up a little bit different parts of the hip this way. Yeah. Like, especially around the side and, and going into the, the back. Yeah, so. I always feel like it opens up, like, the groin muscles, too. Me, too. It's all kind of the back of the hip that's most in the front of the hip, you know, like the regular pigeon, so. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. John Stevens. I John Stevens. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Vote for me. Um, and then once you're ready, go ahead and release, send your legs long, shake them out a little bit, and then we're going to go ahead and flip to the other side. So if you're following us, right leg is going to be on the bottom. I had to think there, it's all good. Sorry guys, we're running over like two minutes. Um, and then left leg's going to come on top this time, so feel free to... Uh, manipulate it with your hands as well. Two of those minutes for me coughing. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Same thing, flex your feet. And again, you can take your um, ankle maybe to your knee, your foot hangs off. Or if you like your um, foot more on your calf, that's an option as well. So again, just finding what um, works for you, where you get that nice balance of a stretch, but also an ease. And don't worry, I've also seen people that are totally like this in this pose. That's totally fine too. You're not quite in this nice, easy, I would call this easy seat, but we're a little bit more seated. Breathing here, sitting up tall. Getting that nice hip stretch. 
Like down, you can tuck your chin to relax a little bit. As long as, again, notice you're not rounding through um, the low spine. That takes a lot of awareness here. Just tuck the chin, but not the whole back. Finding your pose on this side. And then when you're ready, go ahead and release your feet. One last time, shake it out. And then go ahead and roll all the way back down to your back. Take your knees with you. Give yourself a nice big hug. Final pose here, squeeze and give yourself a nice big hug. And then release onto your back, finding Shavasana, finding your final rest pose. So I'm going to challenge you here to take three breaths on your own. Might be harder than you think. So I welcome you to continue to lay here, um, counting your breaths, play a favorite song, taking your own self-guided shavasana for just a few more minutes. Feel free to add any other poses as well that you like. I know we didn't get to our yogi recess time today. Um, so again, thank you so much for joining me. Wherever you are, please take your um, hands together, thumbs up to your third eye. The light in me sees and honors that same divine light that exists in each and every one of you. As we close our practice, I invite you to whisper to yourself, Namaste.